Hey guys, welcome back to my another video. I have said in the last video that only the best and best probable MCQs will discuss here. So please watch till the last and don't skip the video. Let's start. And you can see here today's topic is about cylinder. So before starting the MCQs, we all have to know about some general characteristics of cylinder. So what are cylinder? These are mostly aquatic or marine habitat animals. These species exhibit a tissue level of organization because cylinder are the lower organisms and they don't exhibit the organ level of organization that's why they exhibit only tissue level of organization mostly cylinderates are the diploblastic animals in which the body is made up of two layers of cells one is ectoderm and another is endoderm ectoderm is one layer makes up the cells outside of the body and endoderm is the layer which forms the inner lining of the body they have body cavities in their body which is known as coelom the body is radially symmetrical the digestion is both intracellular and extracellular types the nervous system and the circulatory system is absent as they are lower class animals they excrete and respire through the simple diffusion process the mode of reproduction is asexual type which is through the body and the sexual mode of reproduction is seen only in few cylinderates like hydrozoa rhizostoma and xenia the classification of cylinderata includes three classes one anthozoa next hydrozoa and scyphozoa so let's start the mcq questions First question the study of cylinderates is known as arthrology splanchnology nidology and nidology here the spelling is different that is c n i d o l o g y and n i d o l o g y but the pronunciation is same but the correct answer is c that is c n i d o l o g y nidology the study of cylinderates is known as nidology which is a freshwater nidarian hydra spongilla dugesia and none of the above and the answer is a that is hydra next question cylinderates are diploblastic or triploblastic or monoblastic or none of the above and the answer is a that is diploblastic the name hydra was given by ellis aristotle linnaeus and rumor and the answer is c that is linnaeus let's move to the next question the oral cone of hydra is called manubrium mouth osculum and ostium and the answer is a that is manubrium the number of tentacles in hydra are 6 to 10 10 to 16 16 to 20 and 20 to 26 the answer is a that is 6 to 10 number of tentacles are present in case of hydra plant cells for secreting adhesive material in hydra are present in pedal disc stomach region growth region and hypostome and the answer is a that is stomach region supporting lamella of hydra is mesoglea gastrodermis epidermis and none of the above and the answer is mesoglea supporting lamella of hydra is called as mesoglea next Hydra is immortal because old cells are replaced by new cells cell do not grow old of generation or it never dies and the answer is a that is old cells are replaced by new cells nematoblast in hydra are commonly of two types three types four types or none of the above and the answer is c that is four types what will happen if the nidocele touched with a glass rod nematoblasts will be damaged nematoblast will not discharge nematoblast will die and none of the above and the answer is a that is nematoblast will be damaged nematoblast with blind end thread tube is called stenotil desmonym stereoinglutinant and streptoinglutinant and the answer is b that is desmonym next question nematocyst is a cell is a group of cell is a organ or part of a cell and the answer is d that is nematocyst is a part of a cell smallest nidoblast in the body of hydra is penetrant volvent atricos isorgia and holotricos isorgia and the answer is c that is atricos isorgia the largest nematoblast is stenotil desmonym small glutinant or large glutinant and the answer is stenotil germ cells of hydra are ectodermal or mesodermal or endodermal or none of the above and the answer is a that is germ cells of hydra are ectodermal next digestion in hydra is intracellular type extracellular type or both type or none of the above and the answer is c that is both intracellular and extracellular type of digestion next question one of the following is a cylinderate c fan c dollar c cucumber and c hers and the answer is c fan a 
द मेजोलामेला और मेजोग्लिया इज फॉर्मड बाय एपिडॉर्मिस गैस्ट्रोडॉर्मिस बोथ एपिडॉर्मिस एंड गैस्ट्रोडॉर्मिस एंड मेजोडॉर्म एंड द आंसर इज सी दैट इज बोथ बाय एपिडॉर्मिस एंड गैस्ट्रोडॉर्मिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड ऑफ हाइड्रा इज एक्सपेल्ड फ्रॉम माउथ एनस जनरल सर्फेस और हाइपोस्टोम एंड द आंसर इज ए दैट इज माउथ Hydra does not feed on lower animals because they are so small they are distasteful they lack glutathione and none of the above and the answer is C that is they lack glutathione digestion in the entrance of hydra starts with proteolytic enzymes amylolytic enzymes lipolytic enzymes or none of the above and the answer is proteolytic enzymes peri shark is absent in hydra because it is fixed it is free swimming epidermis cannot secrete it and none of the above and the answer is b that is it is free swimming it is means peri shark is free swimming great barrier reef occurs off the coast of sri lanka philippines australia and maharashtra and the answer is c australia here great barrier reef is the coral reef coral reef occurs off the coast of australia next question hydra is dash insectivorous frugivorous omnivorous or carnivorous the answer is d that is carnivorous which part of hydra is without supporting lamella basal disc central part of pedal disc tentacles or none of the above and the answer is b that is central part of pedal disc which part of hydra is without nematoblast pedal disc tentacles manubrium or stomach region and the answer is a that is pedal disc In which nematoblast thread tube is on end and open at the tip penetrant volvent small glutinant and large glutinant and the answer is C that is small glutinant next question tentacles of hydra are hollow or solid or half hollow and half solid and none of the above and the answer is A that is hollow type the green color of hydra viridis is due to chloroplast pigment zooclorella and none of the above and the answer is c that is zooclorella which nematoblast coil around the prey penetrants volvents small glutinants or large glutinants and the answer is b that is volvents nematoblast responsible for locomotion are penetrants volvents glutinants or none of the above and the answer is c that is glutinants next hypnotoxin is a protein carbohydrate lipid or none of the above and hypnotoxin is a protein answer a fresh water polyp is hydra aurelia physelia or obelia and the answer is a that is hydra epithelial muscular cells of epidermis of hydra form circular muscles oblique muscles longitudinal muscles or none of the above and the answer is c that is longitudinal muscles a colonial hydrazone is a hydra metridium aurelia or obelia and the answer is d that is obelia a colonial hydrazone is a obelia next hydra contacts its body by means of interstitial cells nidoblasts nutritive cells or epithelial muscular cells and the answer is d that is epithelial muscular cells sea anemone is a member of class hydrozoa scyphozoa anthozoa or actinozoa and none of the above and the answer is anthozoa anthozoa is otherwisely known as actinozoa and the sea anemone is the member of the class of anthozoa or actinozoa then metagenesis is found in hydra or obelia or aurelia or tubipara and the answer is b that is metagenesis is found in obelia polymorphic animal is physelia hydra tubipara or metridium and physelia is a polymorphic animal that's why the answer is a that is physelia thank you so much for watching my video please 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 like comment share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon keep supporting me